most Xbox fans downright are beginning to hate Halo Infinite, and I want to break down specifically why, because I feel like this is a very unique circumstance that, honestly, it feels like a lot of dreams have been crushed. Sean, hi, good to see you. Um, I'm actually talking to the fans right now about Halo Infinite. You and I used to play a bunch. H how would you feel about playing a little bit of Halo Infinite right now? Are you paying me? Uh, no, no, just for funsies. I mean, did they add anything? Is there is there new content, new maps, new modes? I, I heard there's like another 10 skins. Gosh, did you hear this salacious new rumor? Getting close. Apparently Dreamcast guy hates the Xbox. This is the thing I hear a lot, like especially over the course of the last five years, perhaps 10,000 different comments have accused me of being a Microsoft hater is they have the power, they have the space to be fully utilized. Only this system just feels like, I don't know, some sort of like prototype that just definitely wasn't finished. And I can't possibly give even the smallest bit of a poop because it's Call of Freaking Duty. These things suck. Before, let's just talk about the size of the PlayStation 4 library. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to grab some fistfuls of my freaking games. Let's take a look at this. So... Literally, I can just stack these up all the way to the freaking ceiling. So, whenever people say that the PlayStation 5 doesn't have games, whenever you want to act like Game Pass is such a better deal, Game Pass is fantastic. Game Pass is cheap as hell. It is a tiny monthly fee. I give it credit for that. But, the fact that there is still just thousands and thousands of games that will run that are great that are freaking good deals on the playstation 4 and the playstation 5 is something that is too often disregarded so i didn't want to make this video i say that every time i say it every time right every time i do one of these content nuke things i always say the same damn thing it's like oh i don't want to do this but i kind of want to so i have been a fan well i wouldn't say a fan i i I've liked uh, Dreamcast guy for a long time. Um, I've been watching him for years. Uh, you know, he's 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 different. He's quirky. You know, you know I always kind of like that about him. And you know, I see some things he says that you know I kind of let slide a little bit. I'm like, okay, that's that's your opinion, man. It's your opinion. And one of the one of the people that, you know, I made a video about, this is a long time, it was the first content new, it was Afro Gaming Guy, which I don't think he's on YouTube anymore. I think he, uh, unfortunately, had, he, he left um, due to getting doxxed. I don't know who done that to him, but, you know, it sucks. You know, he had some videos about Dreamcast Guy. And, you know, I, I thought he was making fun of Dreamcast Guy, and he was. He was. He was kind of being a troll. And that's why I feel like I, sh you know, I feel like a hypocrite for making this video. So I've watched a few new episodes of uh, the Dreamcast Guy stuff. And I'm going to put a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a collage or montage at the beginning of this video to kind of show you what I mean. So... We all know that Dreamcast guy is kind of cringy. He can be. And that's one of the reasons why I like him, because he's cringy. And I don't think he really cares about being cringy. But we also know that he favors a certain platform more than the others. And recently we had a video about Halo and the Xbox. Uh, him saying that every person that loves that plays Halo absolutely hates it. And he kept on referring these people as Xbox players. Now, this guy continuously says, hey, you know, I play, I play for everything. I'm not a fanboy. There's several videos where he licks Sony's balls, basically. Just takes that proverbial dick right in the butt. That big old Sony veiny, veiny penis. Right up there. <laughs> I'd be lying. I would be lying to you if I, you know, didn't say I preferred the Xbox over to PlayStation. 
you know, I've got my PS5, I've got my Xbox Series X, I've had all of them every generation. You know, I play my PlayStation mainly for exclusives. I I've always done that. I always prefer playing the Xbox for, you know, they they have some decent exclusives, not many, but for the most part, most of the time, um, things kind of seem like they, you know, I I prefer their the controller pretty much. I always felt like sometimes you know the Xbox outperformed the other systems, but that was me being biased. Again, I used to be a part of the System Wars uh, group. I remember back in the day being on Neo Gaff. GameStop System Wars forums, and that was that was amazing back in the day. You just you just had to be there. You just had to be there. You know, I was an X bot, and we had a Sony fanboys, Sony ponies, and I kind of feel like Dreamcast guy is still kind of stuck in that era. <laughs> now, I honestly I didn't want to make a content nuke about him. I didn't. Because, you know, I didn't think it would be fair. Obviously, he's got a bigger audience than us. And obviously, this video probably won't get seen. <clears throat> but I kind of feel like he needs to be called out a little bit. He needs to kind of be put in his place. Even if this video never gets seen and doesn't take off. Or this channel doesn't even take off. I would at least like to put my opinion out there. Just to kind of let you know how I feel. Now he did a video again about Halo. This was this was this week, and making fun of it, basically making fun of the people that likes it. And I'll be honest, I quit playing Halo Infinite's multiplayer um, shortly after. You know, I, I don't play a lot of multiplayer games. Okay, I, I used to. It's just not my thing. I absolutely loved Halo Infinite's single player campaign, and I'll play it again once uh, they do the co op. Uh, that way I can do a legendary run. <clears throat> Always liked Halo. And I'm not saying that Halo Infinite was perfect. It's not. It's a good game. It's a good Halo game. It's actually a great Halo game. Um, done a lot of good things. But the way Dreamcast guy paints it is it's, it's so bad. Like, it's so terrible. Like you said, people hate this game. People absolutely despise these games. That's when he's pulling up these... Uh, tweets saying, you know, they're not saying we hate Halo. They're saying we don't want to play Halo because there's no content coming. You know, I would agree to that. You know, if there's no content coming out for a game, you don't really have a reason to play it. And the Halo community is pretty damn strong, I believe. You know, you have people that hate Halo Infinite. You have people that absolutely love Halo Infinite. I kind of feel there's nobody in the middle. I kind of feel like there's no middle ground on that. And, you know, a lot of the players are Xbox players. I hate to say I mean, there's a little plenty of PC players, I'm sure. But, you know, Halo is an Xbox Xbox game. It's just, I mean, it always has been. Even if it's on PC now, it's always been an Xbox game. <clears throat> and that's, I, I, that's why I kind of have, feel I have to defend it. Because, you know, that's one of my favorite series. I even have a Halo tattoo. I have a Halo tattoo. Let's just go ahead and say this. Halo 2 was big. I got a Halo tattoo. And it's corny as fuck. And it says pwned under it. I don't know if you guys remember. So back in the day, whenever you killed somebody in multiplayer, you'd be like, you got pwned, dude. And I've got it on my leg. It says P-W-N-D. I wish I could take that off. Just keep the Halo... I had my own custom Halo uh, character. Like, he was red and white. More white than red, I don't know. And I've got got his collars and everything. And I thought it was cool. <laughs> but I remember saying, you got pwned. And that was a big thing back then. Like, And I'm sure, Dreamcast guy, if you're watching this, if you ever do, I would definitely like to sit down with you and kind of talk about it. Because I'm sure you... You know, I would like to know how your site is still being a Sony pony and don't say you're not because you are obviously you have a bias towards the PlayStation you always have you always have again I remember back 
there was a it was right right when the PlayStation Five came out. There was a discussion from IGN uh, about the guy who said there was no games to play on a PlayStation. Well, I mean, there was really no games to play on both systems. The PlayStation did have more exclusives up front. We had Demon Souls, uh, Miles Morales, and fucking Bug Snacks for some. Then we had Returnal. Like, we started getting games, like, later on. Still, right now, the biggest games came out lately for the PlayStation. Uh, is we just got Horizon Forbidden West. I haven't played it yet. It's installed on my PlayStation. I'm playing Dying Light 2 right now. Uh, trying to. I'm, I, I'm behind. I'm behind. And I can't wait to play that game. And that's another game. Like, he, he's, he's like, holding up. Like, it's, it's a big fucking masterpiece. It's not a masterpiece. It's not... It's not, it's a good game. I haven't played it, but I love the original one. And from what I've read about it, and from all the stuff, you know, and I'm not going to give my opinion on it until I beat it, but it's not a masterpiece. If anything's going to be a masterpiece, I'm going to say Elden Ring, which the review embargo is off of that, and they're saying that's amazing. It takes a lot for a game to be a masterpiece. There's not very many masterpiece T games there's not I mean I don't care if you you know if it's your favorite game it's still not a masterpiece I hold that I hold that title pretty high for a game you know back in the day yeah I'll give 10, 10 out of 10 for every game that came out <laughs> it's just funny because Dreamcast guy he hops on these you know, any chance he gets when he sees something about the Xbox or somebody saying something bad about PlayStation, he has to chime in. And I remember on that video when PlayStation 5 came out and he had the, the article from IGN, he uh, literally grabbed a whole handful of PlayStation 4 games. You know, let's go ahead and say Xbox has backwards compatibility. Play Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One games, as well as Xbox Series X games. You know, lots, really great backwards compatibility. It's got games. Plenty of games. No, not very many exclusives until recently. But, you know, PlayStation hasn't had a really big exclusive for the most part either. You want to say Returnal and Deathloop, which, you know, I, I like Eternal. Not Eternal. Is it Eternal? Returnal. I'm sorry. Returnal. It's pretty good. I never beat it. Uh, same with Demon Souls. I never beat. I, I've never beat a Souls like or uh, a Rogue RPG. Is that what it's called? Is that what it's called? But he literally held up a bunch of PlayStation Four games. He said, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, PlayStation Five's got games too, buddy. They got games. They got games. Look at these." And it was funny, the way he was arguing it was the article said there was no games to play right now for him personally. His personal opinion. And he said, you're better off to get an Xbox because of the backwards compatibility. Yes, the PS5 does have PlayStation 4 backwards compatibility. It's not as good as the Xboxes. And this is fact. Xbox, you know, has this smart delivery system where it makes sure the game you're getting, you're playing, is the best way to play it, um, tech-wise. You know, increased frame rates, stuff like that. Xbox just does backwards compatibility better. Now, was the IGN guy right to say the PlayStation 5 had no games? I mean, it's his opinion. You know, it's his opinion, honestly. And he took... Dreamcast guy took super offense to that. Like, super offense to that. Tearing that guy down, calling him stupid. Calling him an idiot. Because he didn't agree with him. Somebody said something about Sony. So he stretches. Stretches a little bit. Gets at that keyboard. You know, twists his neck. Pops your fingers, 
I said, oh shit, I got to make this video about this IGN guy who talked bad about Sony. That bastard. Fuck that guy. Literally. Fuck him. Which, Dreamcast guy is funny listening to him talking. He'll say, he doesn't cuss, really. He doesn't really say any swear words. So he'll say something like, the PlayStation freaking 4 and the freaking Xbox and the, the poop. It was funny because in one of the videos, he, he said poop. I was like, who's that spirit? That reminds me of uh, <laughs> on the Billy Madison when he puts his shit on the doorstep. And she goes, there's somebody put poop on my doorstep. That guy said poop. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I kind of want to watch Billy Madison now. Just, just because. <laughs> but he literally, like, the cringiest way he does things. It's so funny. It's so funny. And I, again, I still like Dreamcast guy. I don't hate him. I just think he should be more, you know, open about his preference to a certain system. I wish he would not lie to himself. It's like, oh, I'm I'm just a gamer that likes every system. Yeah, you, know, you might, but you sure do have bias towards one. And I'd be lying if I said I didn't have bias towards an Xbox. I love my Xbox. I love my Switch. I love my PlayStation. I don't play my PlayStation that often. I think the last time I put put in my PlayStation when I was playing Deathloop. I never finished Deathloop. I actually hated Deathloop a lot. Like, that was one game. You know, I like to finish my games. I like to play through a game, finish it. And that's one of those games I just never finished. I was actually looking forward to it because I like Arcane. I just did not like it. Didn't I, I quit. I, I gave up. It's like, this is dumb. It's boring. It's done, been, done better in other games. If you, you want a better game, just pray Moon Crash. There you go. It's better than Deathloop. But I do need to go back and obviously finish Deathloop. It's the same as I need to finish Returnal, which I'll never finish Returnal. I'm just not good at hard games. I'm sure Dreamcast guy will, you know, he, he kind of makes fun of people that don't like games because they're too hard. You know, I don't play games... To, that makes me want to yank my fucking hair out. You know, I do love me some Souls games. I've never beat one, but I love them. I love them. I can't wait for Elden Ring to come out. I'll never beat it, but I'm going to love it. You know, it's 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 kind of it's satisfying to get somewhere in these games. <laughs> it's to me like I'll stop. I won't play it for a fucking month. And I'll come back. All right, I'm going to play some Bloodborne. <laughs> I never make it to the past the first Hunter. It's like, fuck this. I quit. Then I come back a month later, I'm going to do it again. And I get past that Hunter. I'm like, that was satisfying as fuck, dude. Dreamcast kind of, kind of makes fun of people that hate easy games, games. He's one of those guys that dislikes people that likes easy games. I like an easy game. Like I said, I play a game mainly for the gameplay and the story. I want to feel like a badass. You know, playing Call of Duty on easy. Playing Call of Duty on easy. You know, just mowing down people. I know, I'm not that big of a gamer if I play every game on easy. I play a lot of games. I play a lot of games. A lot. I don't play as much as I used to. But I do play a lot. You know, all the new stuff that comes out. And I play them on easy. Because I want to get through it. You know, these some a lot of games that comes out these days, we don't I don't have the fucking time to play through an 80 hour experience. And Dreamcast guy kind of attacks people that you know has the same opinion. We're not saying these games are bad. We're just saying we don't have the fucking time to go through them. You know, a lot of us have jobs. I've got a fucking job. 
That's why I like playing games on easy. I want to relax. I want to come home, play a game, and just have fun. I don't want to get attacked for it. He is one of those guys that does that. You know, there's there there has to be, and I'm sure there is a lot of examples on that. I mean, same with like Sifu. Sifu just came out and he was talking about it, saying, you know, most people won't finish it. Most people might not finish it. You know, I've got games in my library, mainly roguelikes, that I've never finished. Because I'm just not good at it. I've just never been good at, you know, stuff like that. I suck. <laughs> I uh, tell you. I tell you, I suck at roguelikes. But I kind of wish he would quit doing what he's doing. Stop lying, man. Stop lying. You say a lot of bullshit. Stop lying. Be fucking truthful. You know, the internet... There's some smart people on the internet. They can see right through you. You get people that make fun of you because you say some dumb shit. Some stuff that doesn't make sense. Some stuff you're like... I don't believe you. I don't believe a word you're fucking saying, but... I'm not gonna say anything about it. You know, saying he gets all these, uh... <laughs> gets all these leaks and these people bringing him games that he shouldn't have. He's usually pretty quick to the draw in the, in the reviews. And I'm not saying, I don't know if he personally gets review code. I don't know if he does. He might. I don't think his channel is big enough for that. There, there's bigger channels that don't get review code. I like it the, the other day on on the um, on one of these videos. Let's talk about Jason Schreier. I guess Jason Schreier blocked him on Twitter, and Dreamcast guy called him a what 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 was it what was it? God damn! I hate I hate having a word so i i can't get my words out i can't i can't he didn't call him a moron he called him basically somebody's is afraid I, I can't get the goddamn word out and that's something you can make a video about dreamcast guy this fat dude with the neck beard can't get his words out fuck off i've got severe bipolar depression and high anxiety i'm used to it fuck off Coward. That's the word. See? He called him a coward, basically, on one of his videos. Called him a coward. Jason Schreier's pretty cool. I think he does pretty good, and he gets some things out there. I don't agree with everything Jason Schreier says. But a lot of the stuff he comes out with in, like, journalistic, guy's pretty damn good. He uncovers some shit. But it's happening in the gaming industry that we need to know. I, obviously, that's some shit we need to know. And he talks about it. And that's another thing. Dreamcast guy, when somebody has something he doesn't agree with, he calls them idiots. He tears them down. Calls them idiots. Calls them fools, whatever. Poop. That's, that's what he calls them. He calls them poop. Just what I'm saying, Dreamcast guy, is be honest. Be honest. We can see right through you, dude. We can see right through you. Again, I've, I, I've followed you for years. I have followed you for years. I have. I like your content. Still do. Still want to stay subscribed. Even with making this video. Because I know nobody's going to watch this video. You're never going to see this video. So I don't really care. It's my opinions out there and that's it. That's it. <laughs> it's nothing left. Nothing left. So I guess the moral to the story is. Dreamcast guy. Tell the truth. Stop being biased. Stop being a bitch. If you have to curse, curse. Quit saying poop. 
quit being biased towards Sony. Stop. If if you really cared about gaming on other platforms, you wouldn't be acting like that. You wouldn't be calling people idiots and Xbox players. I kind of I kind of feel that's like offensive, sort of. Why can't you just call them a gamer? Which I kind of find that kind of offensive too. You know, it's like gaming, like gamer has a lot of bad connotation to it lately. It sucks, but why don't you consider, you know, a play, a gamer, a gamer. You play on all systems. You're not an Xbox player. You're not a PlayStation player. You're not a Switch player. You're a gamer. You like to play video games. And as bad as I don't like being called a gamer... I'm still a fucking gamer. We can talk about how I don't like being called a gamer at, a, at another time. Don't try to prop yourself up higher than you actually are. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. That's it. Just tell the fucking truth. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Feel free to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, or hit that dislike button, but it's not going to show me the dislikes until I get on the manage video thing and actually see the dislikes, and I'll be like, oh my god, I did really bad on this video. Fuck me, the Dreamcast guy wins. Alright. I'll see you guys later. Of a poop, of a poop, of a poop, of a poop.